You know, after that uh, DIY frog challenge, after missing so many bass, I had to come back to that same spot with a real fishing frog. Redemption is best served with the frog. <laughs> it's been sweet. So stay tuned if you want to see some more catches just like this one. All right, we are back. Unfortunately, it is raining today. So hopefully that doesn't mess the bite up too bad. But I was passing through this area again and I was like, I want some sweet, sweet revenge on those stinking bass. I kept missing on that homemade frog I made. had a bass come up and take a look at it I saw its white belly a couple times keeps missing I got him holy cow oh my gosh what was that did y'all see that I don't think that was a bass might have been a bowfin I'm not sure, honestly. I got him. Oh, get him over. Get him over. Ah, oh, there's a bass, man. It's a chunker. Holy cow. There's some healthy bass in here. Look at that. Sorry, buddy. I had to pull you over that wall like that. Bass choked it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> a healthy bass right there. I uh, got him right by that little brush pile. He choked that small toad. Choked it. <laughs> that was sweet. He's a muddy mess right now, but that is uh he's probably about 15 inches, but he is heavy. He's probably a pound and a half, almost two pounds. Nice catch. This is just like a little, this is probably the half the size of frog I used yesterday. And uh hoping I can get more hookups. <laughs> so far, so good. How sweet. Got him. Uh, got him. Another bass. <laughs> this is some aggressive bass underneath this bridge. There we go. Another healthy bass under the bridge. <laughs> Revenge is sweet. Dang it, I got some sand in my... Oh no, he's hung up. <laughs> yeah, that's a bigger one. <laughs> Holy cow, look at these bass. These are some big ones. That's a two pounder all day. 
Oh my gosh. I found a sweet new honey hole right here in this bridge. I don't know how many people actually fish this spot. Look how big that fish is. Holy cow. That is a healthy fish. That dude is thick. I mean, he is super, super thick. There's my hand. Holy cow. <laughs> this is so awesome. Oh my gosh. This is sweet. Sorry for dragging you over that wall, buddy, but I don't know how else to cast over there. That's a big one. This is the only frog I have, unfortunately. So hopefully it will hold up. I mean, they're tearing it to shreds. And they're munching on this black and blue frog right now. They were munching on my frog yesterday, but I couldn't ever get up, get the hook up. Got him, got him. Oh, it's another good one. Got to drag him over. Oh, yes. Another good one. Get up here. Oh gosh. Oh, it's a heavy one. Look at that fat dude. Oh man. This one's a spotted bass. Aggressive picker. Woo! <laughs> Sweet. Thank you, buddy. It's a healthy fish underneath this bridge. In this awesome little creek spot right here. Woo, baby. All right. There he goes. My frog is still holding up, okay. It's getting destroyed. <laughs> but uh, when I came here yesterday, actually when I came and did that challenge, when I walked up on this bank here, there's so many frogs jumping in, I spooked. So it gave me a good indicator that I need to be throwing a topwater toad. <laughs> and that's what I brought today with me. A toad. Well, he's not one. Oh gosh, just missed him right there by those leaves. <laughs> Sucks. That was like, I was just basically reeling it in and uh, about to lift it up on the bank. Got him. <laughs> nice. It's like another spot. A little healthy spot. Smoked it right there by the bank. <laughs> This is too awesome. Unfortunately with spot bass, spotted bass, their mouth is a little bit smaller and it's hard to get that frog out of them. Alright, that's the first dink of the day. Yep, he's got that, he's got that little tooth, he's got those teeth on his tongue. I'll take them though, especially on a topwater frog. Alright, let's go back on the bridge. Man, because my camera's not waterproof. It's getting a lot of moisture on it. Oh shoot. Oh, that was a dumb cast. Crap. I just threw my frog, my only black frog, in a tree limb. That sucks. Oh, really, Eric? Really? Let's just cast a frog in the big tree. That sounds fantastic. Yeah. See if they're after the spinnerbait in here. All right, we'll try this white spinnerbait. See if they're after that a little bit. Fish, oh my gosh. Fish on, oh. He's still on, he's still on. Another bass oh, heavy bass I mean they're bending my rod over trying to get them on this bank here it's another uh, healthy spotted bass pound and a half Let's see if we get another there we 
there's another one. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, never caught this many bass in one area. Never. Like, this is nuts. This has surprised me. Every cast, it's shocking me how many bass are in this one zone. That's the first really small dink right there. They're loving this white spinner bait. There's a fish. Oh, big and big and get over. Oh, yes. <laughs> stay on, stay on. Oh, boat flip. I'm going to break my rod. I'm going to break it. Come here. Come here, big dog. Oh. Oh, it's another big one. Another big one. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Holy cow. Look at that fish. It's a large mouth. Oh. Two and a half, two pounder for sure. Man. Big one. Big one. That's a healthy bass right there. Healthy. Healthy. Thanks, buddy. Big old splash. <laughs> oh, fish on. Little one. On the other side of that wall, it's the juice. Small little, uh, like another uh, spotted bass. Well, he's a little largemouth actually. He's not a spot. I'm gonna try down this creek bank a little bit further. Might be able to get my frog back. I don't see my frog. Oh, he's right there in the water. <laughs> it broke off right there. Dang it. I don't think I can get him. Boy. If I can get that frog back, that'd be awesome. I can hook it. Oh, I hooked it. Look at that. I got my little frog back. <laughs> I'm have to tie that back on before I leave. Well, time is out for me today. I got to get back on the road. I gave it a good hour dangle and redemption was served. I missed so many fish here yesterday. And uh, on that DIY frog bait I made and... I mean, I was getting blow up after blow up after blow up, but something about the hooks and the sponge on the back just wasn't a good combination for some reason. But anyways, I brought an H2 Express Academy off-brand frog today, just a little frog, and <laughs> the bite was on. So I'm just glad I came back here and uh, proved that I could catch a fish on a frog. It was just my DIY frog that was not the key. Thanks for watching as always, and until the next picture. See ya!